Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi taala wabarakatuh. Alhamdulillah, alhamdulillah rabbil alamin wassalatu wassalamu ala asyrafil anbiya wal mursalin wa ala alihi wa sahbihi ajmain. Alhamdulillah, uh, we are continuing our uh, discussion on reality check and I have mentioned to you how actually from our perspective of being a muslim that we have both the domain of the spiritual emotional mental and then physical and how it affects our integrated thoughts and self awareness and this is very important for us to overcome the challenges but if we understand all that how are we going to actually frame the reality from the perspective of the spiritual emotional mental and physical so we have to see what are the ideas that come about in our normal life huh? that means we have a lot of things that we ourselves as human being will have to go through whether you are coach or coach it doesn't matter all right so built in into our system at the highest level is the roh at the second level is the kalp all right the roh or the spirit the kalp is the loci of control in islam and al quran al karim and in um, uh, all the studies of uh, the metaphysics of Islam, the cult is the loci of control, all right, in terms of our existence on this earth, in terms of our mood, our, our mode of living. And then we have the mind or the akal, and then we have the jasad, which include the physical brain and our physical body and so on. So if we look at reality, uh, there must be some reality check insofar as the physical existence the mental or the mind, the emotional and the spiritual. So we have to do some sort of journaling. Eh? So if we talk about SEMP reality, there is what we call the concept of journaling your reality. Eh? So you journal, you write down. So journaling your reality could be in many aspects. Eh? For example, if we talk about ourselves, all right, as, as a human being, each and every one of us, sure we have anxiety. All right, I'm sure you have anxiety, anxiety in our life, anxiety of getting being caught in a traffic jam, that is one form of anxiety, anxiety of going on a plane when you have fear of heights, that's another form of anxiety. So we, we have it, even you are greatest coach on earth, you have anxiety. But how are you going to uh, modify or mold the, 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 the level of anxiety in such a way it doesn't become a stress where you develop a lot of cortisol in your in your in your body the neurotransmitter that's acting your brain and it affects your response all right so we have anxiety we also have fear like it or not we have fear this is an exist existential question we have fear of dying we have fear of disease we have fear of not achieving our goals we have fear we also have anger all right we have anger nobody can say that oh they are anger free i mean unless they are uh, a saint eh? even saint also get angry from time to time all right but it at the right place of anger so there must be a right place for anger i mean not all anger is negative even rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam has a show anger towards uh, being uh, knowing uh, having no adab or being uh, disobedient to allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and so on all right then we have depression to a certain extent we also within us we have our delusional state we have our self-doubt we have our denial etc so if we look at the e level our cult and our mind we have some of these parameters of mode of uh, thinking and mode of living which is common to every human being but it is the percentage of the negative negativity whether the positivity that means there are possibility for example of peace of happiness of tranquility of all these things all right we have all these things and we can overcome all these things all right so if we are able to uh, do something in a way that we can uh, modulate our emotional state our mental state our physical state and actually our spiritual state we would be able then to reduce all these challenges in life so for you as a coach you know you have these qualities all right and you know how you are actually doing it so one of the ways of doing it is to journal 
you journal. So you give an exercise to your coachee, okay? What are their physical challenges they are facing? They journal it out, they write it out. What are their mental challenges? What are the emotional challenges? What are the spiritual challenges? And from there, you can see what level of self-awareness that they have in terms of their spirituality, in terms of their emotional state, in terms of their mind, in terms of the physical. Because a lot of them will be centered on the physical aspect. Uh, for example, uh, I have no money, uh, I have very low salary, or I don't have a, a good, uh, a happy family life. I ha I'm always quarreling with my, uh, my wife or my husband. Uh, we have not enough to, uh, uh, enough to feed our children. Uh, so many of these things which are affecting them. So you can actually measure, when they journal this, then you can see their level of measure of emphasis, whether it's a physical emphasis only or the mental aspect or the emotional aspect. For example, if they have zero, they have not journaled anything on their spiritual, spiritual journey in life, of their relationship to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Then you can see that they do not have a spiritual well-being. They do not have the, uh, the, the sakina of having a spiritual life. Or they do not have much sense of connection uh, to their family, to their parents, to their friends and so on. So their emotional state also, the cult is also affected. Then, they are not going in terms of learning, improving themselves and so on. But they're just focusing on the physical aspect only. So, journaling is good, especially what we call the SEMP journaling. Eh? That means spiritual, emotional, mental and physical reality. You can do a simple form like this and then you say, okay, from the, what aspect, you just write down what you feel in terms of your physical aspect, in terms of your mind or akal aspect in terms of your emotional or your cult aspect and in terms of your spiritual aspect. There's no right or wrong. I remember this journaling is just for you to then have a baseline in terms of understanding the reality check of your kochi. From then, then you can see where, where all these things falls about. If, if everything is just here and nothing here, nothing here, nothing here, then you know that you got to bring them up because if you want to have a balance your nafs, you must have a balance from the nafs of the physical nafs. Uh, you must have the spiritual, emotional and mental balance. So to have that, you must find a balance in which you can utilize yourself as a true and sincere servant of Allah, as the Khalifa of Allah, and you can help your kochi to find a way forward. Remember, it's not, there's no right, there's no wrong. It's just like you're giving them an exercise to journal, uh, to talk about their physical state, to talk about their mental state, to talk about their emotional state, to talk about their spiritual state, in whatever uh, little that they can write down. And then from then, it can be a basis of discussion to find the root cause of their problem. And from then, you can give them more ideas about how to transform themselves, to, ex to accelerate their progress towards having a balance if of this dunya and the balance of the akhirat to have a balance of the spiritual, emotional, mental and physical state because there must be a balance huh? that means your SEM the spiritual, emotional, mental state must be balanced with the physical state because we are still living in this dunya so to get that balance is not easy all of us will have our our fault our shortcomings our difficulties as I say we all have anxiety we have fear we have anger we have depression but Maybe not to the extent that it affects our life. That means this is under uh, control through our ubudiyah to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. We're able to reduce our anxiety, reduce our fear, reduce our anger, reduce our depression. And then we also reduce our delusional state, our self-doubt, our denial, etc. So that we try to bring all this negativity in line with a better way forward, a balance of the spiritual, emotional, mental and physical insha'Allah and when we're able to do that we will be able to then help our kochi to understand that they have to move from just the physical thinking physical one desire to how to improve their akal how to improve their emotional state their kalp and how to improve their relationship with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala through the spiritual state and this is a progression that you as a coach can gently draw them through by, by reading their journal, the SAMP Realty Check Journal, 
that you can give to your coachee as one exercise uh, before they uh, after you have get to know them uh, to know them you have already begin to uh, work with them you can give them as one exercise as a homework and then from there from journaling they can continue journaling as they progress huh? there are many forms of other format that you can do and other tools which i'm going to teach you this is one of the tools that you can use in terms of reality check inshallah so remember our role as a coach is not to say that we are perfect we have all the characteristics of deficiencies that we have but it is out only of the grace and the mercy and the love of allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that we have all this negativity under control and we are able to have the peace the tranquility the saada of the grace the mercy the love of allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that we already understand our purpose and meaning in life as a sincere servant of Allah, as his Khalifa on this earth, always striving to make ourselves good, helping others to be good, making the world good and pleasing to Allah and all his goodly creatures in this universe, inshallah.